Ladies and gentlemen, people of royalty, kings and queens, how are we doing today? You know, most people won't ever see 100,000 encounters. It's a, it's a number, it's an odds that they'll never see within Pokemon. And I have now seen it twice in my lifetime. And it won't be the last. It will, surely won't be the last. I'm about to hit 100,000 encounters dry today in around four to five hours or so more of hunting. And today will be the day. I'm gonna be able to redeem this Twitch reward that I've been having sit for eight months. This person's waiting eight months of watching my stream getting enough twitch a point twitch points to finally be able to actually redeem something meaningful and this poor guy hasn't been actually able to achieve that pokemon but it will finally happen today i also have some more pokemon to send off for some few twitch rewards we have some shiny hunting to do and i have some eggs to go get let's go ahead and go grab those out of our pc and just jump into some rare shiny hunting fellas i predict you will get it before 100k today that would really throw off a lot of the content for today i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so I, I think i'm gonna go 100k dry uh i also have some challenges today that uh some some bets that i regret taking that uh i'll be doing at 100k encounters so make sure to stick around for that i think i ended stream yesterday at like 93 94 000 ish encounter I did, I did a little bit of encounters offline um, so I, I'm pushing around 95, 96K to start the stream. We'll be hitting that 100K in around four hours or so. All right, for those who don't know, I love, like, I said this early, at the beginning of Shiny Wars, but I talked about how, like, I love that Shiny Wars is a time for newer players, or at least maybe he's not new, but players that I don't really know their names or other players might not know their names to make a name for themselves. And Dart06 has surely made a name for himself. Like, getting 10 Shinies within... 16 days 15 days ish of shiny wars is just unbelievable like i don't know if we've ever seen anything like that like in, in a shiny war it's so crazy um and we can sit here and say like, obviously he's getting lucky obviously there is some good luck involved but to even have a chance to even have a chance of getting that many shinies in that many days i bet he's hunting 16 hours a day i, I bet he is 16 hours a day you know sleep for eight hours like i just because to get like, how many encounters if he's done Let's say it's day, it's the beginning of day 15, or the beginning of day 16, so let's say 15 full days, right? Uh, well, didn't it start at 8 p.m.? I don't know, so tell. Also, this is 96k encounters, so let's go ahead and take a sec to quickly, a moment of silence to commemorate 96k. Okay, pog, and we get the, the pink uh, box glitch. We've been getting that visual glitch a fair bit when hunting. Um, let's say, okay, 15 times 16 hours a day, right so he's probably hunted 240 hours right like it wouldn't surprise me now and if you look dude like it sounds like oh he's so lucky but like if he's hunted 16 hours a day if he's done 240 hours divided by 10 shinies that's 24 hours per shiny that is actually exact average with dunner status and charm right He's probably not as lucky as we all think. He's probably just fucking gaming. I think that's like, it's probably a mixture. Like, I think it's really important to talk about like shiny hunting long term is about consistency and hours and effort and, and efficiency as well. A lot of people will, you know, shiny hunt for 45 hours, but be getting like half the amount of encounters per hour they should be based on their efficiency. They're, they're looking away, they're distracted, they're, they'll, they'll leave in a YouTube comment. I don't know, right? Like a little too distracted, right? It happens. I do. I do it all the time. That's why I love my encounter counter. Um, it's important to do encounters, not just hours shunted, right? Um, but I, don't, I think it's really interesting to remember and reiterate like, hey, like to get 10 shinies like that within 15 days, like there's an element of luck, but it's a, there has to be an element of hard work and consistency and stuff there as well. A uh, question, if you stay in this cave when the seasons change next month, will you still be in this spot or will you get moved? Um, I don't remember what happens. I know that like you can't shunt in this cave next month. I don't know I don't know if you physically can't be in the cave or what happens or if um or if like the the mons only appear at this time in the season. I, I don't remember. Different spots have different like situations. Like I know Ursa Ring like just straight up doesn't spawn, right? Versus like hilariously at the vanillish spot right the vanillish spot um in in unova if you don't like go to the pc if you just stay at that spot you can actually stay there post season rotation there's a little snow ramp that builds during the winter i can actually show you guys in a quick sec here okay right over here fellas so this is the vanillish spot right here this snow ramp builds only in the winter time but if you stay up here and don't leave if you like you log out here 
on like uh August 31st and then log in September 1st, you'll actually I'm pretty sure you can stay there and still hunt vanillish. I'm pretty sure, which is hilarious. But you can't ever leave that spot for the next. If you ever leave, you can't get back. So that's like the thing to keep in mind. But like if vanilla shunting was good points, that might be worth considering. I don't know if that's how Cryogonal spot works or what the stipulation is. If it just doesn't spawn or if you physically can't get there, we'll have to double check. Stuck forever. Normally, you'd either have a fly or a teleport Pokemon or worst case scenario, you would have to type slash unstuck. Slash unstuck exists for situations like that. What's the deal with the spirit tomb silhouette? The That's the particle effect. Here, we can actually see the shiny menacing. Here, watch this. Shiny menacing spirit particle effect. See the spirit tomb pop up? If you if I let it sit, it'll actually like develop into the full. Yeah, there you go. But we almost never see it. We almost never see it actually materialize as I leave the battle too fast as I'm just shunting. That's a good question. All right, boys. Another Petrowski stream. Another insane food take. Are you ready for this one? I think that this is actually the best chocolate bar, the best candy bar I've ever had. I, I, dude, I, I love white chocolate, okay, which I know is already, like, sweet tooth fucking baby take, I know, but this is Hershey's white chocolate with Pop Rocks in it, so, and there's so much, so you bite the chocolate bar, and it's, like, pop, pop, it's, and they, like, only sell it for, like, 4th of July, it's supposed to be, like, fireworks in your mouth, it's so stupid, it's so dumb, but the best part is, nobody... In like, I swear to God, nobody in my entire state buys these buys these except for me. So they always go on a holiday clearance sale. So I'll get like a full pack of this for like two dollars, right? Because they always go on turbo clearance. I'm the only person in the actual state of Virginia that buys these, um, and I love them so much. They're actually they're so fun. They're so tasty. I'm a massive Hershey's Pop Rock bar enjoyer. Hey, Pat, what's the easiest spot to shunt for newbie shunters? Anything that's times five horde near a PC. Things like Wooper, Poliwag, Marill. Um, I think Drodagon is super underrated. Um, really anything. Once again, times five horde next to a PC. Uh, Raticate. I definitely want to go for that. Uh, what a non lepa any non lepa spot, you can shunt a lot for free, which is what you should do as a new shunter. You don't want to be pissing away Pokeyen on things like Dinner Status, Shiny Charm, Lepas. Like, they're overrated. Don't worry about them. Most new shunters, all new shunters shouldn't be using them. Um, and, and most, you know, veterans don't really need them for a lot of shunts. So, Pat, what's the plan once you get a shiny? Are you going for a second one? I'm going for a second one. I'm going for a third one. I'm going for a fourth, a fifth, a sixth. A, as many as I can get, man, throughout Shiny Wars. As many... I, I said before, best case scenario is I leave this cave at the end of the month with, like, 20 Cryogonals. Like, what I care the most about is getting points for Shiny Wars. Not about, like, the Shinies I want to get right now, technically. And I do want the, I do want both of these Shinies, Cryogonal and Cubchoo. Now, do I really want 20 Cryogonals? Not really to own, but like they'll be like a badge. They'll like each triagonal represents hard work and points and effort and like a medal that I put in during Shiny Wars, which is really, really important to me. What's your top three favorite times five hordes for Shiny Wars? For Shiny Wars, there's a there is about three times five hordes that I would consider viable and worth doing for the points per hour. I would do this spot, so Cryogonal slash Cubchu, um, Metapod slash Kakuna over at Pattern Bush in Kanto, and then um, the, the Throw Sock. There's two different Throw slash Sock slash Grafty or Throw slash Sock slash Marowak spots over in Unova. Dude, I feel like I'm the one, one of the most like positive thinking forward Pokemo players. I, at least I try to be, right, Dan? Um, hey, quick question. Do you think the anniversary event will ever happen again? It seems like they just forgot about it. I don't think they forgot about it. That seems too, you know, that's unlikely, right? But they have, I don't know. They're just in the dark about it. They left left us in the dark about it. They're just quiet about it. They haven't said anything. I I don't know if they've just dropped it and it's not a returning event. If they, if that's the case, I wish they would. I wish they would just communicate with us, man. Like, why can't they just say, "Hey, you know, we're gonna miss the anniversary event this year. Sorry about that." Or like, like I, I think the lack of communication is like easily the most harmful thing to. And I love this game; they do it great. I'm like, we can sit here and critique the game all day, but there's tons of positives to talk about, right? Um, it's pretty wild, man. To be fair, we haven't had a hint of 12-year anniversary, unlike the 11th, but I feel like that's almost worse, right? Like, okay, they said that they were, they, like, promised an 11-year anniversary, pretty much. Maybe not those exact words, but they said they were going to aim for it, right? They didn't do that, right? And then the 12th year, they, it's like an annual thing. 
that still no still no word on the 11th or the possibility of a 12th or if it's going to be annual or like if it's just gone and dead like i don't know like this zero communication is just so bad um maybe i should just maybe i should just try to message rach and be like hey um maybe i should just try that like what's your what's the status on this like what would we have any can you give me an information i'm gonna do that right now i'm gonna discord message her right now actually and see if i can get anything Okay, so I'm going to send this message. Hey, Rach, I was wondering if you could give any update on what's going on with the anniversary events in Pokemon Mo. It seemed like you guys wanted to do one for the 11th year, and it never happened, but maybe I misunderstood. It was my favorite event ever in the game and i'm sure many others would love an update on it if you and the other devs feel comfortable commenting on it at this time okay we'll see if we can get a response I feel like if they said something along the lines of we won't be doing the Annie event anymore, but we will incorporate the content into other events, something like that, no one would mind at all. Yes, I feel like they have this fear of more communication equals more flame and more uh, attacks towards them, right? Which it probably is the case. The problem is inaction is also an action, right? And I, I feel as though not communicating also builds that frustration and also gets them attacked it just kind of alleviates or kind of spreads it out more whereas communication might have it be more short term and like all i can say is please hear the pokemon community when the devs actually communicate with us please don't flame them right that's all i can ask is like please like if we want them to communicate more in the future we have to be receptive to their communication okay that's what we can do in our control let's try to help them and, and give them the space to respond there's almost no way for new players to know what when events are going on i barely know i'm, I'm a part of all the discords and the forums it's yep it, it, even with veteran players we're like we basically are just like oh yeah like it happens around this time every year so keep an eye out but it could happen it could not happen there's been years where christmas events just haven't happened and there's no word about like i get that they don't like to set deadlines but i don't know i don't not setting deadlines is fine but it, you have to still communicate i feel like i just i hate the lack of communication it does feel really extra frustrating at times there's actually an interesting little math problem someone in chat said um I'm 20k singles dry. I was feeling lucky about my 20k singles dry, but you're 97k dry. But I'm 97 try dry mostly on hordes. To be fair, I think 6 to 7k have been eggs. Around 6 to 7k have been eggs. And then um, maybe like 2k were singles. I, I haven't done that many singles. Um, But if you're 20k singles dry, we would do 20k divided by 300. I, I totally misclicked. So 20k divided by 300 so that's 66 hours of hunting right let's say that 90k of mine are times five hordes so we would do this 90k divided by a thousand so that's 90 hours so it, okay it is a bit more honestly i thought it'd be kind of similar it's 90 hours and then plus um 6k eggs hilariously is like how long is 6k eggs it's a lot is you probably do like 200 eggs an hour maybe one like obviously you make 400 no but it's actually no it's way less because you do 400 eggs in a batch right 400 eggs in a batch and that takes one hour plus six hours of hatching so it's seven hours at least on top on top of probably eight hours eight eight to like nine for box sorting and buying dittos let's say nine hours for 400 encounters probably What's the math on that? Um, so it'd be like if I, it's just just six thousand eggs would be like divided by four hundred times nine. Literally, just six k eggs is more hours spent than the other ninety thousand encounters. That like that's how I always like that's why like I don't mind being this drawn times five hordes. Like it's so important to remember how insane other hunts are and just like the length of that. Like those six thousand hour or six thousand eggs took me like. Almost 50, I think 50% longer than the 90,000 times five hordes. That's so wild, actually.
Would you rather break the streak before 100k or get 100k plus since you're nearly there? I'd rather just go 100. At, at this point, I'd absolutely, even at like 88k, I was like, I'd rather just go 100k dry at this point. You know, I might, might as well hit the big number, you know, for fun. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do our daily Pokemon forums check. Let's see what riveting, interesting, and highly important discussion is happening in the Pokemon community today. Oh, we must have a thread for cat pictures. Is this what we've been reduced to? <laughs> We're this far out of content, boys? Honestly, this is this is the real content we've been wanting all along. I love this kind of cat. The same guy who made the cat thread post wrote a song. <laughs> what is happening? The Pokemon forums have gotten so... They've gotten so smart. That's what it is. They've gotten so interesting. Hello, the other day I realized I was really mean to the devs when I was younger. Now I'm a man and decided to show them how much they mean to me. I decided to write a song. <laughs> In the world of Pokemon where we roam and play, there's a secret to life that's been shown the way. It's not about catching them all or battling with might. It's about spending money on reward points day and night. I can't. Dude, yeah, Pokemon Zone is such a game changer, man. For those who don't know, Pokemon Zone is a website that has shiny leaderboards for all of the public information available in Pokemon. So what it does, I can actually show. Let's do player leaderboard. So yeah, it's a website that basically compiles all of the information from shiny showcases from the for from the Pokemon forums. Pretty much every team does a shiny showcase showing off all the shinies in their team. And it takes all of that information and puts it into a leaderboard. And this changes the way that people shunt and will shunt in the future. Like, I am so much more motivated to do times five forwards because rank climbing is a real thing. It's really motivating. It's really interesting. He's also added so many more people. Like, now there's 1,100 people on it where previously there wasn't that many. Um, dude, I'm not that highly ranked. I'm ranked 71, bro. Actually washed. I'm tied with Rumel, though, which I think is really fucking wholesome. I didn't even realize that. He showed me a screenshot yesterday of us being tied at rank 69, but people gained Chinese since then, so we got knocked down a peg um but this is awesome dude if you're in a team make sure your team is updating your shiny showcase like now there is a legitimate really real reason to um to update your showcase constantly so i think this is super super cool man this, this is this i hope this gets adapted more and more because this could be a massive deal for the game having an actual shiny leaderboard adds so much more legitimacy to long-term shunting and the competition of it all are you ready fellas here it is Here's the last, the last big increment. 99,000 encounters dry. I'll see you all at 100K. We're going to hit there today. Dude, this is actually genius. So Oso said he has like 70 stacks of Lepas that he's trying to sell. So instead of just like hitting up trade chat or like being in my Discord or whatever, he just came straight to the source, bro. Oso literally came to Twist Mountain Channel 4 because we're all like, look, he's fucking buying. He's selling Lepas right now. Like... This man, Kate, like, actually took his, like, mobile food truck, brought it to the shiny hunting source, and is making big money. That, now, that's a, now, that's a businessman. All right, here is Ninetales, 91st shiny, by the way. Like, dude, he has also been killing shiny wars. Like, he has gotten so many, this 91st total shiny, according to the shiny leaderboards, and he has been popping the fuck off during wars. I can only imagine. That's so insane, dude. Congratulations, Ninetales. That sounds unhinged. So apparently we had our first our first big whale stream himself opening a ton of mysterious balls. And it was uh it was Gamer2020, who is the owner of Pokemon Zone, the shiny leaderboard website. And apparently, apparently he spent two billion Poke Yen. I think someone's someone said it was a, I, this is all rumors. I didn't see any of this substance. He streamed it, so apparently like, VOD should be up. You should be able to go double check it all. But someone was saying he spent like six grand USD. Um I don't know if that's true. But he spent two billion Poke Yen for, and he ended up getting two billion Poke Yen. He ended up getting two shinies, which, to be fair, both shinies are five times thirty-one. What were the species? Haxorus and Gyarados, both from Cherish Balls. So, in short, he spent two billion Poke Yen, and he got five points for Shiny Wars. That is pretty. How long did it take him? Five points, bro. That was hard to watch. Yeah, that's brutal. There would, there would, there should be a Twitch VOD. Yeah, but two billion Poke Yen, six hours of opening, 
for five points oh dude i mean obviously it's wow that's pretty crazy that's pretty un i would love to see like actual screenshots of stuff but that's unhinged Still two more shinies than Pat, Keck W. Come on! I mean, yeah, dude, can I just say, yeah, 200 viewers? Can I just say thank you to him for actually recording it? Obviously, it's unhinged, and I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend gambling like that, but if he wants to, you know, live his life, let him have fun, whatever, you know, what are we going to do, right? If, he enjoy, if it was worth it, he enjoyed it, sure, right? More pain, yeah, I've never seen a more painful swipe session in my life. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't regret it, but if he does, I mean, that's that's what, what are you going to do? Um, but, damn, that's, that's so crazy. Um... That's so wild. I I appreciate him for recording it. Like that's, I, I'm so glad he streamed it. Like so many people just like swipe and wail and don't record. It's good. We don't know exact drop rates for mysterious balls and that stuff, right? Like he opened thousands of mysterious balls over you know over six hours. That's really important for documentation. We could go back and do do data on it. I, we're just, we're lucky that he recorded it and streamed it. So that's that's a positive. That's cool to see, man. That's kind of based. He did say send this VOD to anyone that thinks mysterious balls are a problem. I, I I think they're a problem, but I mean for shiny wars, I've been more and more pushed toward I get it, man. Um yeah, five five, you know, it's anecdotal, but two billion Poke Yen on five points. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Okay, to be fair, he spent six hours on it. Hilariously, I do think that five points within six hours is actually the fastest points per hour possible. I think Cryagonal is like 2.23, and that's like by far the best points per hour. Something like that, right? Point, or sorry, it's point per 10 hour, by the way. Point per 10 hour, Cryagonal is like whatever. If he got five points within six, it's almost one point an hour. That would be like pushing 10 points every 10 hours. Hilariously, it's actually... Well, you're a bit more than okay. Shut up. I'm a bit drier than that, yes. Uh, but like, yeah, but it's still yen inefficient. Yeah. I, if you're gonna wail that much, you might as well do like a Shedinja hunt. I feel like I feel like if you're going to wail this event, Shedinja hunt is probably the best way to go. I think because it still takes a couple hundred hours. Um, but buying the XP candies and then Nikita's, I think that ends up being the um, the best strategy. He has Shedinja. Oh, even then, I don't know. Go for it for the Shiny Wars points, I guess. Go for number two. One more inventory of Sweet Sense, boys. The 100,000 encounter is coming. Who was here? I was here. Who was here in Twitch chat upon this day? Upon the day where Petrowski did the, the very thinkable, not the unthinkable. He went 100k dry because of course he would. He sucks at the video game. We all know it. That's okay. It's the truth. 10 more encounters, boys. The shiny rate in Pokemon Mo is 1 out of 30,000. Surely I couldn't go 100k dry. I'm going to get a shiny on this next encounter. Guaranteed. 100% chance odds. 3, 2, 1. Okay, well, pack it up, boys. It's fucked. All right. Oh, uh, it's been a nice stream. It was nice knowing you guys. Look at the encounter counter. Uh, well, it was fun while it lasted. My career is over. Um, I almost left the encounter. That would have been bad. Oh, well, see you guys with my punishment. We, we did it, I guess, guys. We're, we're the best at being bad. Woo. Oh, I didn't mean to play that. Oops. Hey, fellas, you know what they say. Never let your parents tell me what you can't do, okay? I remember being 12 years old. Mom! I am going to go dry shiny hunting, okay? Just watch me, okay? Just wait until I'm 26 years old, and I promise you, I'll be 100k dry, and I'll prove the whole world wrong. I'll show you just how unlucky I can be. And here I am, living my dream. No way you logged me out on my 100... No way this server's lagged on my 100,000th encounter. Banned, Keck W? No way. Let me catch this mon, please. No, we're not banned, boys. We're just, we're just, the servers have been so bad recently. Okay. We're going to catch this 100,000 encounter for a viewer. All right. Well, we all know that since I went 100,000 encounters dry, um, I accidentally made a few bets along the way. So, uh, this is going to be gross. Cheers, boys. Oh, it's hard to. Oh. 
All right, let's catch my 100,000th encounter. Oh my god, that was disgusting. All right, hopefully this doesn't happen again. This is my last time going 100,000th dry on stream, boys. All right, well, I think I think that went about the best it could have could have gone. I'm going to be honest. Uh, could have been a lot worse. We'll take it, boys. Stream recap 100 had three shinies. Stream recap 144 had <laughs> one gritty. How far we have fallen. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, will Pokeforce be available for mobile? It's been confirmed that Pokeforce will be available, I think, for Android on launch. I'm pretty sure they're like... They're aggressively pushing Android access, which is really smart. So many games are make or break depending on their mobile access. It, there's just so many mobile gamers, so many people that want to, you know, play video games in between meetings or at their job. And stuff like that. It really, really drastically impacts things. Um, so yeah, Pokeforce, I'm pretty sure they've been pushing for that really hard. Android access should be available at launch. I believe they've talked about that a ton or very shortly after. Okay, I'm actually not kidding. I asked AI when I will get a shiny. And they said, after you delete yourself, what... What what happened? What what did I do wrong? What does this mean? How does one get into the shiny hunting, the shiny war scene as a beginner? That's a legitimately very good and wholesome question. To get into like the shiny war scene, I mean, first you need to just develop your account as a shiny hunter. So just consistently do time swipe hordes, break into shunting, uh, get like five or six or so, you know, time swipe horde shinies. Then you want to maybe move to like single encounters or maybe try to get a rare or something like that. Try to work your way up to like 15 shinies or so. Shiny Wars is really the Super Bowl and like the high end tiers of shunting. So you do kind of have to prove yourself, become a, develop your account, develop your, you know, portfolio essentially. It sounds very professional. It kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Um, develop shinies, build your account and then try to get into a team, and then get into a good team, and then try to get your way into either a Team Shiny War, or maybe the official Shiny War next year. Hopefully they'll do that. They talked about, this should be an annual thing. Shiny Wars officially in Pokemon should be an annual thing. They have talked about that, but I don't know. Anniversary event was all supposed to be an annual thing, so it's up for grabs, unfortunately. But hopefully this, this one is more community hosted and staff hosted and community manager hosted. It's kind of crazy that, like, since this event is hosted by the staff and community managers, it's more likely that it remains consistent versus events hosted by the devs. Kind of sad, but kind of true. Um, something to keep in mind. There it is, boys. Oh, is that 1,000 encounters? Oh, my goodness. Petrowski, you're so wet. True and real. That's the note that I'm going to end this stream on, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like the stream if you enjoyed it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. I upload videos every single day. Zoe101. Yeah, sure. Um, that's the note to end it on. Discord link down below. Videos every day. Follow the Twitch streams. Uh, you know, Monday through Friday. Generally whatever I can during Shiny Wars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. If you want to go above and beyond and support the content, YouTube memberships, Twitch Primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo, uh, avoid me uh, from grittying for, for desperateness for shiny. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Arena. Hey, thank you so very much for watching until the very end of the video. That means the world to me. And everyone on this list means even more to me for helping support the channel every single day. Thanks so much.